I logged in an application. Okay. So as usual, I logged in as an administrator. Um, I'll talk about uh, the difference between um, administrator and then um, regular end user. Uh, those are the basic types of users, but in terms of end users, there are still uh, many more categories, but uh, let's keep that way for now. Uh, just two types. Um, contextually, I'll explain um, various types of roles and users, how you can manage them. Um, for now, what I would like to do is like, uh, I'd like to put together some kind of uh, agenda for, you know, coming days. You know, um, using this time to make quickly. Um, just trying to open Excel sheet. Let me know when you see that. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to put that in on the call itself. So uh, make it interactive. Um, this will actually, you know, um, help you to, you know, prioritize your topics. So where you want to spend okay. more time, less time, etc. Okay. So, um, dates, um, maybe I can work it out separately on dates, but let's figure out the um, topics first. Let's uh, one. <sighs> I'm just trying to uh, give the uh, basic overview. Um, what what is uh, Sales Cloud? Okay, uh, and how many pillars are available in Sales Cloud? And uh, <clears throat> that how to navigate uh, between pillars. Um, so these are various things that I would cover on the uh, basic overview of Sales Cloud. And then we'll get down to users, basically. We call it roles in Sales Cloud. Salesforce call it a different way. They they call it you know profiles. So users basically <clears throat> user management, role management, how to assign uh, roles to users, how to create users. There are different ways of creating users, but uh, which one is the best way, best practice, etc. All these things will be covered. And then <clears throat> we'll talk about um, mainstream objects. Such as accounts, contacts, leads, and uh, opportunities. And there are many more, um, like activities, etc. But that's okay. So um, those are common items. We will cover them at the same. And then I <coughs> will um, talk about uh, functional setup manager. This is basically about uh, how to configure the application. There are um, different types of extending the application. Um, rather, I would say modifying the application or implementing the application. Um, one of them is configuration. Another one is customization. And of course, so uh, integration. Uh, so let's let's uh, we will not talk about integration. Um, we will limit ourselves to customization and configuration. So configuration is nothing but uh, just click and uh, you know move kind of options. You don't have to do coding anything. Any any sort of coding is not required here. Uh, that's called functional setup manager. It, it's basically about uh, a list of tasks that will be executed based on the need and then setting some kind of profile options. Uh, all these things will be covered and this will this will be done. So this is basically a functional part of you know um, setting the application. Uh, so that's the um, another uh, an important one. Um, without this, you cannot really start on any application. That's how it goes. And then we'll talk about uh, application composer. This is a tool, and uh, this is actually <clears throat> taking care of customization part of it. It's nothing but creating fields, creating pages, creating various layouts, working on workflows, server scripts, everything happens here. So this is a kind of part of the application where you 
create any kind of extensibility in the application. So you'll be covering most of uh, it over here, having workflows and stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about, I'll touch every um, important aspect of the application composer. Okay. Okay. So of that, um, <clears throat> data import or data migration. So this is purely um, file based. File based import. And then the report of it. We'll talk about how to um, <clears throat> configure the reports. Uh, we don't call it configure, rather how to build reports and how to uh, build analytics. And then once you create uh, base reports, how to uh, assemble them in the form of a dashboard, etc. And in how many ways you can build reports? There are uh, primarily three ways, but uh, we always use two at the most. It depends on the need. <clears throat> we will completely ignore the uh, the basic way of reporting. Nobody uses that, <clears throat> and you never know when Oracle actually face that uh, kind of reporting uh, phasing out. Basically, so basically, um, OTBI we call it Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence. That's one type we will cover it. Another one is I simply touch base on the BIP, Business uh, Intelligence Publisher, BI Publisher. Uh, that's more of for doing with PL SQL coding. Only when you know PL SQL coding, then um, you can build data models based on the data model. Um, uh, sorry, on the foundation of the data model, you build a crystal reports. It's a kind of PDF friendly reports that you can build. So those are like uh, advanced reporting tools. Um, I simply touch upon, but it's up to you to how to even explore more on the um, BIP. I mean, that's the same technology that's coming from all your even suite. I mean, if you are able to do there, you can do here. Nothing more that I need to explain that. Uh, the same technology here that comes. So uh, these are at the high level uh, topics that I would like to cover, and uh, this should actually encompass uh, the important aspects of the sales cloud. And any questions so far? No, it's this should be fine. Uh, nothing serious, man. Anyhow, you 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 go getting into the chapter of the next, right? So probably then we'll discuss. Yeah, we'll we'll um, add it. I'll add it separately. I don't want to waste time. Um, you know, on the Excel sheet, uh, just want to cover the high level. Maybe offline, I can add uh, these topics. And then I'll put dates, and then I can share this document. And then, of course, the percentage okay. of now when you track like completion. Yes. No. Sorry. And uh, when you talk right. about mainstream objects like your uh, accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities, you will be talking about everything, right? Right from the setups and what are the different options available, profiles, lookups, uh, and territories. Can it be and stuff. Um, little louder? Can it be a little louder from your side? Am I uh, loud and clear? You know? Uh, you, you are loud. Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Uh, could it be better? In terms of loud, loud, you know. Um, yeah, I Very think good, I just put on the. Not loud enough. Okay, just just give me a second, as you know. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm actually uh, audible now. Yeah, the same page, um, but let's continue. Yeah, 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 just okay. to pose your question. Okay, now uh, my, my question was regarding the uh, mainstream objects like your accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities. So you'll uh -huh. be covering everything, right? Uh, like in detail about the uh, relative setups and lookups and profiles, territory management, as a rule based assignment, and uh, Qualification assessments, everything. Of course, yes. So, I mean, um, no. when I said uh, mainstream objects, it's about uh, um, it's more about 
how the relationship exists between accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities, how to navigate, and basic functionality of those objects. Uh, what you talked about, like various uh, leads qualifications, etc., that's more of functional setup manager job. So, um, because I want to give you how the architecture of these mainstream objects, that's the intention of adding that point number three. But when it comes to functional setup manager, yeah, so everything will be covered. Like whatever oh, you mentioned. Okay. okay, all the rules, all the um, lead qualification rules or some kind of schedules, etc. So those those things will be covered. Uh, okay. But the forecasting and quota management. Look up. Yeah, all those will be covered in application composer. How to create a field, how to add a lookup, how a lookup okay. is reused, etc. So those are a part of application okay. composer. Okay. No, no. What I meant was uh, like your uh, uh, assessment, lead scoring, and uh, and the qualification of the leads. And uh, forecasting, mm. quota management, then using of this auxiliary field for territory Actually, management. Um, all those yeah. things will be covered in the functional setup. No, no, no. Those are different topics. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that. I'll talk about that. Territories, quotas, forecasting are, are entirely different. Uh, those are not part of uh, uh, regular sales cloud. I'll talk about that in my basic overview. Maybe we can discuss more. Okay. Um, how they are different uh, from. Uh, your regular uh, objects. <clears throat> mm -hmm. No, will those be part of this training? Sorry. No, uh, territory uh, forecasting, quota management, everything will be part of this training, or it will not be part of this training. Territories I can cover, but not quotas and forecasting because that requires a lot of uh, configuration on the application, uh, which will not be covered in the uh, regular uh, sales cloud. Territories I will cover. In, including the auxiliary dimensions. Yeah, yeah, of course. I can explain that thing is see, this is what it is. Any training, um, maybe I'll try to be, you know, um, intuitive, you know, uh, as far as possible. But thing is, uh, it should come from you, uh, the question and the kind of question I can answer you. But I cannot oh, show fine. you like, uh, A to B, B to C, something like that. Okay. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to assist, sorry for asking so many questions at the beginning. Uh, I'm just wondering, man, quota management forecasting, you're saying it will not be part of this, man. I'm just wondering why is that? I'm hearing you, but uh, it was not very clear to me, the voice. Is, is it okay for everyone? Okay. I mean, you are very clear. I mean, uh, um, I'm I'm not able to hear that very clearly. You you seem like very on the mic. No, I am I'm put the headphone and the speaker. Now what I'm uh, asking is uh, quota management and forecasting. You're saying this will not be part of this session. See, uh, I can talk about okay. I can talk about. I can navigate to quotas and forecasting. I can explain things. What I'm okay. trying to say, is I I cannot really configure them because that's a uh, it's a kind of project itself. Um, uh, I can talk through what it is for, how it can be done. Maybe I can take you through various screens, but I will not be configuring in the application. That's what I'm trying to say. Because that itself will take a lot of setups, and these are there are some setups which are not reversible. Once I do it, you follow me, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that much I can cover you on the quotas and forecasts. But forecast particularly and quotas, once it is published and configured and published, those are not reversible. That's what I'm trying to say. So the rest of the thing, yeah. Okay. Rest of so the things can be done. You'll be able to show, show. Without publishing them, we with the basic configuration, we, we will be able to see it. See, if I don't publish, right, you don't see the end-to-end uh, -end functionality there. So because um, I need to create a quotas, okay, and then mm -hmm. publish it. And then only I will be able to see it from every user point of view. And the functionality is available only when you publish that quotas. Okay. Okay. But until publishing, I can tell you if you're okay with that. Until publishing, what all I can do? And after publishing, what you can do? Probably I can explain it, but I cannot do that in the system. That is fine. So as long as you're able to show us 
till publishing and publishing after publishing what happens without showing it is also fine right right okay now basically the stream man our idea of uh, taking this training is well, after this training we should be able to kind of you know understand npn flow and even though not fully hands on and implementing it we should be able to get an idea of how to implement sales club all right that's totally depends on um, your practice a trainer will only give you inputs yeah how things can be done mm. yeah let me know if you have any concerns on that approach um, because the training is a training but i cannot like um, uh, give you assignments and then um, review the assignments etc uh, i will not be able to do um, yeah so i can only explain the functionality probably configure certain functionalities and then you should take it uh, you know forward from there and then you can come back with questions i'll try to help you out answering them okay that's yeah yeah it's good to have you know um, expectation in the beginning itself um, yeah you setting me the expectation even i do you know doing the same thing for you uh, both should work and if you are all yeah. good on that approach then only we'll take it forward otherwise yeah uh, we should not have you know conflict in the middle of the training uh, that's yeah that, that, that's so basically the, the the first session is about so that you know both everyone is on the same page that's right so i cleared my um, approach like how i'll be taking you through uh, various entities and then if you are okay with that then yeah we we can take it forward perfect that's fine so territories and all will be will be getting into the details so it's set up and all only issue will be the yeah, forecasting part where it's not it's not reversible so you will not take it to the end you will just show it to a certain extent and the rest you will give us a what exactly will happen instead of showing exactly that's right that's right territories can be removed once i publish that that's the that's yeah, the reason exactly. why i said uh, i can do that territories for you that's right and the role this okay. assignment everything that can be done mm, yeah so, i so, think we got it thank you all right yeah. um maybe let me add that as like um, item here so that we don't forget um All right. So I uh, will um, share you once this is, you know, expanded. Okay. On daily basis. So all right, guys. I'll today I'll try to give you the overview of this, you know, sales for application, and then we can um, move on to the next topic from tomorrow. Okay. So this is the sales application. Um, yeah, what out you see um, here? This called a Redwood theme, uh, which is like a um, Oracle recommended theme. But we can still change the you know theme here. Probably you'd have seen different themes. Um, the look and feel will be different for each theme. So that's anyway. That's a different part of the you know configuration. So we have different tools how to do that. Uh, we may also touch base them. Basically, Sales Cloud. Um, yeah. So what you see here, Sales. Is about actually sales cloud basically, um, and also you see service and uh, partner management. Uh, these two module also share some of the objects from the sales because it's it's like um, hub and you know spoke approach. Hub being the sales, and the spokes being like uh, your service, um, your CPQ, your service cloud, which is right now and uh, commerce cloud etc etc so when i said hub uh, that's the master uh, master application from which various uh, transactions are generated so sales, uh, sales cloud application